DVWA. So we have a couple of videos about DVWA, but I want to just, you know, go over it with you. Uh, so as you can see here, we have, you know, a lot of things that you can do with DVWA. So you can just, you know, uh, do like uh, cost site request forgery, C S C S R F file injection, SQL injection, etc. So, uh, so what we are going to do today, we are going to try to scan that web application and then we are going to just compare, you know, Nmap and then Zenmap to show, you know, why you have to reinvent the wheel. So this is what we are going to discuss today. Now, are you ready to just compare Nmap and Zenmap? Buckle up and let's get started. Low cyber security and low time. All right, so we have that web application here. As always, make sure that whatever you're scanning, you have permission to do so. And if you want to practice your cybersecurity skills, you can always, you know, look at our videos to know how to set up your own labs so you don't hurt anybody. So let's just go ahead and just start ZenMap. So we're gonna go to the application right here. Now I'm going to search for ZenMap. So ZenMap, by the way, why it is widely this loading? So it is like the graphical user interface of Nmap. But now, if I were to just wanna use Nmap, I can actually type Nmap dash L. So it's gonna tell you, you know all the cool thing that you can do with Nmap. But at the same time, Nmap can be very difficult, especially for beginners, because you know is the thing that you have to uh, almost memorize. All the comments, they are not that difficult because the only thing that you have to do, I'm going to put them side by side. The only thing that you have to do is, you know, to, you have to put type Nmap in the keyword of whatever you want to uh, detect. For example, if you want to detect, you know, what is the OS uh, detection, if you want to detect the operating system of this, you can actually type, you know, Nmap dash O, you know, as they say here. So you put Nmap in the keyword and the target. IP address or domain name. But why even just using uh, Nmap if you have Zenmap? So the cool thing about Zenmap, you see, you know, there's not a bunch of uh, uh, script that you have to write. You can actually just put the target machine here. What we are going to do, I'm going to show you side by side. Let me drag my uh, my Zenmap right here and just kind of minimize my Nmap so we can have a better idea. Good, so let me see, uh, make sure that I can type. There we go, I can type. All right, cool. So my target machine is, uh, I'm going to put to that, uh, to that four, which is, you know, the entire uh, Medax variable server. So what I can do, you see that, you know, you can just have a bunch of things. You can do a quick scan, you can do it like, you know, quick trace out, you can do, uh, you can ping it. So what we can actually do, let's just do, you know, whatever you want to select. For example, if I were to select intent scan, you see that, you know, it's automatically uh, uh, put the comment. So that same comment, I can, actually, I can actually use it, you know, to just paste it right here. So in this case, you don't have to just memorize comment. You know, let's just see if we were to just do like, you know, a quick scan plus automatically give you the nmap comment so you don't have to do it uh let's see regular scan this is the basic let me see if i were to put dash o you know you can just it's, it's very cool you know so you can actually uh go ahead you don't have to reinvent the wheel or just try to memorize all this as you can see let me put my target ip again as you can see here you're kind of limited so this is the downfall of, of nmap of zenmap so even though it's very quick, you're kind of limited because I, as you can see for Nmap right here, there are a lot of comments that, you know, they are not auto-populated right here on Zenmap. So now let's just keep the purpose of this. So we can just say a basic, let's do a basic scan. Let me see. You know, we are going to do an intense scan today. Okay, I'm going to see which one gonna, gonna win. So I'm going to paste that same comment right here paste it make sure that you know i delete the extra characters 
and then I'm going to just let them go at the same time all right let's see here I'm going to just probably start this first and then scan let's see who is going who is gonna win all right gonna let all both of them go together it seems like uh end map is leading the way so Zen map is just you know about you know three line and L map is just going very full forward so as you can see here the result that we are having here they are kind of you know getting similar telling us you know, what's going on about you know that that server and all the information so you know while this is just uh, uh loading i just want you know to just share this with you there's there's nothing wrong you know if you're a beginner and you don't you don't you don't have to memorize all these comments if you want to scan your system or you know like trying to harden your system you don't have to just use Enma. you can use Zenmap if it fits your need for example if you are doing one of these of the followings you are not going to do something in the intensive you can actually use uh, a graphical user interface uh, uh, Zenmap instead of Enmap. As you can see here, let me see who is the winner. Oh, Nmap is the winner. It is done already. So my my, my uh, scan is done on Nmap and Zenmap. Let's see if it is done. Yeah, see Zenmap is uh, still going on. Uh, so yeah, that's that's it for today. So I just wanna uh, share this with you. You know, uh, don't don't be intimidated. You know, uh, like Nmap is one of the most powerful tools that you know. That you can use to scan systems and then zen map make it easier now if you have any questions or if you want us to discuss a specific cybersecurity tools make sure that you put them into the comment section now don't forget to like subscribe and share so you don't miss out with our weekly tech videos thank you